Welcome back in another episode of Hyperscape the World. This time we are trying to scan the sea. And I'm particularly curious to see if the sand is captured correctly. As usual, I walk around scanning everything with the Meta Hyperscape application. And I was away from the sun, from the direct sunlight, so I tried to stay in the shadow. There was a roof, which was very helpful, and it also played the role of a reference for the headset, together with the columns. So it was not a totally open space, but the headset could detect some corners, some edges, and surfaces. Okay, now let's give it a try. As usual, I launched the Meta Hyperscape application. And here we are. The view is pretty cool. It was able to detect all the palm trees and the sand, although the sand, as you can see, is not very well defined. So it doesn't have that granularity, which is typical of the sand. It's more about the color and a little bit of texture, as you can see here. But overall, it gives the impression of the sand. And I can move in all this area. That's where I was walking around, scanning in the environment. I can see also the wood in the roof. And I can see the sea far away. Of course, that is not dynamic. This is a technique called Gaussian splatting. And right now it's pretty much static. Although there is some research that is done by some universities for dynamic Gaussian splatting. Although we are not there yet, at least with Meta Hyperscape. So overall, I was pretty satisfied about the scan. And it's, it's ideal for people that cannot travel, for example, or if you would like to see some memories of a place where you grew up or that you visited. And yeah. So if you want to see this place, I put a link in the description of this video. Remember to save it and like it. And um, I will find a way to share these scans with you. Right now, I think they're not public. So I will have to invite you to explore them. Thank you.